life is unfair this we all know things will never go our way and even if it does go our way it usually changes course in just a matter of time we plan something out then something or someone tends to spoil everything therefore we can agree that when people obstruct us or cause trouble for us revenge can be sweet this is one such story where a farmer had to deal with people who were not respecting his space and had to be taught a lesson so what exactly happened he was sick of it to constantly have to deal with people parking in your lot would be such a headache right and so this poor farmer was getting more and more upset since they did this again and again he wanted to keep a level head and remain calm but it was getting to his nerves the farmer wanted to have a peaceful resolution but judging from the way these people responded he had difficulty keeping cool no to diplomacy these people would not listen to him and would keep parking their cars taking up the space that he needed himself he had every right to get mad since it was his own property it was starting to get clear that diplomacy was not going to solve this issue what could the poor farmer do now he then decided to come up with a plan that would later jolt him to internet stardom animal instincts we all know that every human being has his limits even if a person is kind-hearted and humble we each have a limit to where people can take advantage of us and especially as adults we frequently fall under pressure to make tough decisions having to deal with difficult people these type of situations often lead to anger and altercations it gets easy to hold up a fist and resort to physical fights no pushovers even during the most stressful times only mature and grown-up people get to resolve issues peacefully while kids and youngsters quickly argue and fight adults tend to talk things out in a cordial manner there's nothing to gain when we let anger get the best of us at the same time we must remember that being a pushover is not a great option either a nice guy there is one advantage of living in a rural community what might that be well there's a huge chance to live peacefully with your neighbors since the population is fewer than in cities it gets easier for locals to get along and be friendly Deval Betakovic had this notion about staying in the rural area. Betakovic was happy to live in the village of Jukjasevic in Zagreb, Croatia. Trying to be patient. He was glad to be living in a very scarcely populated area. He likes his privacy and the personal space he had for himself. However, it was unfortunate because his neighbors were slowly gently on his nerves. He was a man who wanted things to run smooth and peacefully, so he did his best to be patient, to let the thing be however things were getting out of hand kind neighbors the farmer had never been a fan of crowds he had always liked to maintain his space and treat others respectfully and so it was clear that Betakovic was living an idyllic life in Croatia this was not all that surprising residing in a small village where everybody's friendly and knows you by your name would be amazing right fantasy turned nightmare however he would soon realize that this ideal life that he was living had its drawback too in fact his pleasant life soon turned to an ultimate living nightmare it switched up because his neighbors were getting really annoying and then we all know that every neighbor cannot be an angel but a whole village being vile and irritating new business Betakovic was also not the kind to just sit around and lay idle he was the owner of a field near the village center as a farmer it was great news to him that the town's population of just 2,000 was slowly growing in number to him it meant that his business could perhaps grow too and there was a brand new market that had opened up just next to his farmhouse about the market this was the best thing that could happen to him why well Betakovic should have indeed been in celebratory mood because the market was just a five-minute walk away it was going to help make his grocery shopping a lot easier too there was something about the new shopping center that he did not expect would turn into such a burden for his life an ideal location to most people to have a market right at your doorstep would be perfect this automatically drops the need to go for a long drive to the market the new market was just a few steps away from his farmhouse so it was the ideal spot for him or was it there was another point about the market that was great for the village it would help modernize it a little unforeseen issues it would eventually help their town to attract more tourists and we all know that more tourists mean more money for business everything seemed like a plus point for Betakovic 
However, he would soon realize that the dream life he was living in was not so at all. He did not see the issues that this new upgrade in town was going to bring upon his life. Problem with parking And so the new supermarket that had been opened did not have a specific area designated for parking. Also, there were several other buildings around the area, which meant that the shoppers began to park across the street. These people had to park here in order to walk over to the market. However, this would only be a temporary solution. With a solution. Since the market was high-end and very modern, it was clearly a crowd attraction. And the more people that visited the market meant the more the need for parking space. It was getting difficult to accommodate every customer who would come to shop there. And many of the patrons scratched their brains to come up with the perfect solution. Their ideas would cause trouble for some people, although they didn't know that. No fans of parking. More people got to know about the shopping center and soon the market became super popular. This led to a problem for people to get parking spots. It became a concern as the area for parking became scarce. And soon the customers were unable to get the space to park their cars when they visited. However, any store advertises that they have ample space to park every time. Customers get creative. There's also another thing that we all do as customers. We tend to put the blame on the business when it comes to any kind of parking woes. But if the market from the start had not thought through with how the parking would be handled, there's bound to be some issues. Since you cannot just make a parking lot or area out of nowhere, customers had to get creative. Get off my property. And soon, since Betakovic's property, which was very close to the market, the customers began to take advantage of his open land. And by that, we mean the customers started to park their cars on Betakovic's property. They did so as they wished to visit the new market. Initially, it wasn't a big deal, but soon as word got around, his property saw more and more cars. Unable to work Betakovic did not mind it at all when people first started parking their cars on his land. But soon everybody heard about how ideal his space was, so the field became a public parking lot. The weekends called in so many people and it was the absolute worst. There was a flood of cars on his land, he was unable to do any field work. It was then that he decided to do something about it. Pesky Neighbors So in just a matter of days, Betakovic's land became a public parking spot for the shoppers at the new market. If you've ever had anyone parking in your property, you can definitely relate what Betakovic was going through. To be frank, most people would have any cars parked on their land towed if they didn't have permission. Coming up with a plan even one single car gets in the nerve of most people, so just imagine what Betakovic must have felt. He had a whole fleet of cars in his precious land that had been parked without his consent. Betakovic was a man who did not look for trouble, but still, since this was getting out of hand, he knew he had to come up with a plan to tackle it. So what was he going to do? Inconsiderate folks Betakovic was nice about asking these strangers not to park on his property. Most of the people obeyed to what he had told them to do so. But when he was not present, people would still convert his land to a parking lot. He was running a business, so he was busy and unable to shoo every person away. He was having trouble coming up with an effective plan to stop these people from parking. Everyone is rude. It turns out that the older the people were, the colder they actually were. They did not consider how the owner felt, just concerned about their convenience. They were not looking into the fact that this was someone's property. But Betakovic soon grew weary of this and began to set a plan in motion. He came up with rules that these people would need to follow. The People Deterrent Betakovic became so angry that he considered slashing these people's tires. This would, however, alarm the authorities. Then he considered building a fence, but the fence would be too much for him and would also hamper the driving space he had in his field. He needed to come up with a plan to stop them without making his life miserable. He peeped across the field, then an idea came to him. Ends justify the means. Betakovic wanted to handle this problem like a nice guy. He had gone to people, politely asking them not to park in his land, but no one listened. What he came up with next needed to work without fail. He had no choice anymore. He needed to maintain his peace too. He finally came up with a brilliant plan that would make everybody abide by his rules. Building Trenches Betakovic stepped outside and saw the lines of cars parked in his field. 
He was keeping cool as he paced across his field. He then got on his red tractor and sped towards the people who had parked their cars. The plow that was in front then churned the dirt as he took his tractor around the rows. He made trenches across the entire field and then folks started to notice. Mad and sad. It was indeed a stressful time for the poor farmer as nothing was going through the people's thick skulls. He'd done his best to come up with a diplomatic solution, which only led to them taking even more advantage. He was not a fan of forceful resolutions, but he was now tired and angry. He was not about to allow these shoppers to use his land, however they did without permission. Quite the attention. People were so surprised to see how the farmer finally decided to take action to those who had parked in his property. They had a very difficult time trying to drive out of the uneven surface and trenches that he had managed to create. There were a lot of people who found his new tactics very amusing, too. One person had recorded how Betakovic had reacted, leaving some folks upset. Not affected. The people who parked their cars were unhappy, but Betakovic was not affected anymore. This should have been enough to teach them not to park on people's private property. They had this coming their way because they were disrespecting him for so long. They could not get mad as they had taken advantage of his personal space. He had been warning them for a long time, so this was inevitable. Left Stranded When the car owners came back from shopping, they soon found themselves in a very tough spot. The patrons who parked near the trenches did not really have difficulty in driving back. There were so many cars that could not escape, stuck in the mud as they had parked inside Betakovic's property. A driver tried to escape the farmer's trenches, risking everything. Back home. These cars were trapped just like he had planned. They were now in his mercy. So now how were they supposed to go back home and drive? He had run out of cares to give and was not troubled by how difficult it was going to be to get back home. He had carefully planned for this to happen so he was not regretful about anything. In fact, he was enjoying the view quite a bit. An angry owner. There was a silver Peugeot owner who was visibly upset after seeing what Betakovic had done. She refused to give up and tried to get herself home. So she then started driving into the mud that naturally made her car stuck. She tried reversing the car but was now stuck in that position. Then she ultimately gave up as there was nothing she could do anymore. She then called the authorities. Permanently stuck. This driver was stuck in her car now and made a mistake that most people make when putting in a corner. She initially thought that she would drive off from the mud and suck it in Betakovic's face, but boy, was she wrong. What she did only made the situation worse and was also in a way purposeful. Now every driver there knew that they did wrong by the landowner. Cops were amazed. This lady driver had dialed the cops to get some help from them, but when they got to the scene, even they were confused about how to go about it. Never had they needed to deal with such a situation like this in all their career. But they also had to listen to several angry car owners waiting for them to take action against the farmer. A few wanted Betakovic arrested, so they spoke to the farmer. Ludicrous. And so Betakovic's land was basically filled with a mass of angry car owners. His land was full of angry drivers who were not able to leave. And then pretty soon problems started between the drivers themselves too. It was their ignorance and inconsideration that led to all this in the first place. The cops were not able to just disappear and let them deal with the situation themselves though. His story. The cops then went to Betakovic. He calmly admitted to what he had done. Then the cops went to make sure that none of the cars in his property were damaged. After confirming that there was no such damage done on the cars, the police released a shocking statement. The land was Betakovic's property, which meant that he could do as he pleased to try and save it. Property's mine. The farmer was the rightful owner of the property, so he had every right to make sure it was defended and protected from any kind of intruder. And moreover, he did not injure or harm anyone. The cops took into consideration each detail of the situation until they made the final decision. But still, there was a need to get the stuck cars out of his property, right? Revenge is sweet. The cars that were parked in his area were trespassing, and so Betakovic was indeed capable of taking legal action on them. But he ultimately considered the trenches to be a good enough lesson to those who parked illegally. He had made his point and was confident that they would not park in his property after this episode. He's certainly not the only person to have taught people to stop parking illegally. So much rudeness. 
There are so many folks who would agree when we say that it's wrong to park in somebody else's property. You can't just park wherever you want, especially if it's private land. There are some rules that you need to abide by. You at least need to give a heads up to the owner of the land. Having said that, there are so many people who feel that they can do whatever they please. A good lesson. Brazilian pranksters had also posted a video of a driver who had parked in the handicap spot illegally. The pranksters made sure to cover the vehicle with blue and white post-it notes as soon as the driver was away. They made sure to create a handicap logo on the side of the car. The driver was obviously shocked and upset, but this video is a necessary lesson to people who have the habit of illegally parking in handicapped spots. That's how it's done. There are some situations where you can just walk away and not have to deal with issues. There are, however, some incidents that take control of your sanity that need to be addressed and taken care of. Some incidents call for a solution to the situation. These are cases where you need to deal with rude people rudely as well. These people do not understand diplomacy and politeness. In the end, truth prevails and justice is always served. Just ask Batakovic.